Hey kids, welcome to lesson six, user input and strings, part four. Saving text input in variables. Often we want to save the information we pull from the user for use later in our program. The best way to do this is to save it in a variable. We have a do this, create two variables inside your event handler to store the age and number of the user. Use get text to update the values stored in each of these variables. Change your console.log statement to use the variable instead of get text. We have a little example here, and it looks like we are going to make our code look exactly like that. Right now, we're not working with anything down here, and it looks like it pulled our name and age from the last lesson. Let's go ahead and work on the code. The first thing I'm going to need is an event handler. On the event, I click on the submit button. This down here is going to happen. So let's go ahead and add our event button. I don't need anything in there, so I can take that away. So on the event, submit button, and ours is spelled submit btn click something's going to happen. Well, we want these variables. First variable here, we're going to indent this a little, is going to be, and ours is called text name. Text name is done, something's going to happen. Well, what? We're going to get that text, and that text is going to be the text name. So when I get the variable text name, I'm going to get that text name right there. I'm going to do the same thing down here for my text age, because that's what it's called here. Equal get text, and our text is going to be text age. Now that we got that done, we now to need to display this somehow, and that's going to be via our console.log statements. So console.log, and we're going to display our text name. Don't forget your semicolon here. We're going to do the same thing for our age, text age, there. So we have our little script written here. So on the event, somebody clicks on the submit button, we're going to store what is ever in the text name and text age variables. And then we're going to print that down in our debug console just to make sure it's right. Let's go ahead and hit run. Your name, Rhodes, my age, 23. When I hit submit, my debug console should pop up and I should get roads and 23. Whoop. Something didn't happen right here. Hmm. Let's take a look at our warning here. It says line two, which we're talking this one, get text ID parameter is not a valid string. Hmm. So it looks like I don't have a string here. What could I forget? Thinking back to one of my other lessons, it said something about quotation marks. And if I look, I'm actually missing my quotation marks right here. So an error that we practiced in one of our last lessons, here we go, comes up. Just because I didn't put quotes right there, it did not define it as a string. Let's hit run again, try the same thing, name roads, in my input, again, my age, hit submit, well down here in our debug console, we have roads and 27. So that's a very good lesson right there, why we need to remember to put our quotes when we're getting our text, because that is actually what's going to save our string in our variable. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's hit finish and see if they want anything else. Nope. 
Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.